Hello, Lincoln families. Let's talk about LifeTouch student spring pictures, which are going to be class pictures this time around, as opposed to the fall pictures, which were individual student portraits. So we usually have two sessions, and this is the second because it's the spring. Uh, it tends to be classroom pictures, but it might be different. Could be individual and classroom, but we're going to stick to just classroom pictures for now. So this is for school year 23-24. If you're watching this in a later school year, just be aware of some things might be a little bit different, but for the most part, most of this will still be true and accurate. Um, so, in, for example... There are no makeup days this year, and so if your child misses the spring picture day on May 15th, they're not going to get a spring classroom picture. So just make sure to try to get them in, if at all possible, unless they are sick, obviously, or reasons that they can't make it. Um, and so online orders are still strongly recommended as is having an email address or creating a LifeTouch account. So if you already did that in the fall, you are set. Just sign in with your credentials. Paper envelopes are still only to be turned in on picture day to the homeroom teacher. No change available for cash payments. So if you round it up, just be okay with whatever you lose. And while we encourage all students to participate in picture day, purchasing pictures from LifeTouch is not required. Make sure you have the correct spelling of the student's first and last name per their birth certificate. So don't use any nicknames, preferred names, middle names. Every student who has their picture taken is going to receive a proof that's going to come to the school first. But those who order something are going to get the proof plus their order prints. Now, there's no discount for multiple students in a household. You just got to tally things up per student. Discounts tend to be available in the fall because there's more things to buy, more options. But there's only one option in the spring, so you're not going to really come across discounts. If there are discounts, they're usually for the online orders only, not for the paper envelopes. Um, now, if you change your mind, you want to order late. You know, after picture day, that's fine. You can do it within 11 months from picture day. It just has to be online order uh, only. And you got to use the portrait ID, which is a unique ID on the proof that you get. You can't use the picture day ID. That will expire as of picture day. So you got to wait till you get that, and then you can use that particular ID. Um, we have extra paper envelopes on the black table, that the important document holder in front of the office. So you can grab one from there. And so say, for example, in the bottom left corner here, if you got this flyer, it's blown up to be bigger, but that's what the flyer looks like. You can't order anything from that. Just you have to, you can use the picture day ID. Um, but on the right side is, the, is what the envelope looks like. So if you need one of those, you can grab that. You will need your child's homeroom teacher uh, name, the electronic payment information, whether it's credit card, Venmo, PayPal, your email address, picture day ID for the right day, which is from these envelopes or paper envelopes, flyer, and then visit myleftouch.com. And then on the right, it's going to be for just like before, that's the computer view. On the upper right corner is where you sign in or you create an account if you don't have one. Uh, to do that, you just do it with the three horizontal bars. That's the menu icon on the mobile view. Um, and then you can also scroll down to the very bottom to change the language at any page that allows you to do that. And then it's going to be pretty intuitive from there when you're creating an account or signing in. It'll ask you to either sign in with your credentials or provide information from you, the parent or guardian who's ordering pictures. So put in your email address, your name, your last name, your create a password. That's all intuitive. For, then you're going to get back to the main screen where you can put in the picture day ID. Do not click on student ID. Just use the picture ID. It's a lot easier. That's what it's for on the flyer or the envelope. And then it'll ask you for the information for that student that you want to start off ordering with and put in your relationship to them as a parent or guardian. Check everything. Yes, it's my student. And you're going to see only one option this time around for this 8x10 photo. If you want to get multiple ones, you can, but you can go ahead and just add that to your cart. And you can scroll to make sure to look over everything's okay, the right information. You can scroll down to the bottom. If you have a coupon, okay, you can put that in. And then you can shop for the next student. If you have multiple students, this will start the process over and it'll ask you for the name and information for that student so it knows how to keep them separate but yet group them to you when they come in. Um, and then you check out when you're done. You'll get a confirmation email that looks just like this with the right information based on the picture day, the event, the date, and then the order number, which is important to hang on to. Now, this is just a review, but it's everything we've talked about. It's the same thing before. And, you know, just make sure you will see the confirmation on the last page of your order um, in addition to it being emailed. So you don't have to write it down, but you will have it and that'll be helpful if there is a problem with your order. Um, now, for paper envelopes, you'll need the same information, the homeroom teacher, student's name, the student's grade, and your payment, which will be either cash or a check or money order made payable to LifeTouch, and then calculate the sales tax using your calculator. and It'll just make it easier. This is what the paper envelope will look like. Once again, if you detach from the perforation, the paper envelope, we blew it up here on the right to show you what it looks like. You're going to write the student's name on the first and last name on the left, the teacher's homeroom, homeroom teacher's name, and then their grade. And then don't check the top because that's for online orders if they paid online. So you can turn this in if you do an online payment. It's not required, but you can just check paid online. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. But if let's say you order two 8x10 pictures for one student, 
then you put 1799 times 2 and then you multiply that out and put that here and then you multiply 1799 or I'm sorry the subtotal you're going to multiply that by sales tax 0 0.06 to get the sales tax and then you're going to add the subtotal the sales tax and then to get your final total there so that's where the calculator can come in handy now if you're only getting one of them I did it in math I did the math for you it's 1799 with a dollar 8 sales tax that comes up to 1904 now we strongly encourage to not use cash just check your money order because cash has a tendency to disappear even especially when older students are involved with handing something in on behalf of their parents so we highly recommend that you go to the cash depot if you don't have a, a checking account at the Hollingsworth Shopping Center by the LA Mart and then they offer for everything under a thousand dollars is 59 cents extra that's all you have to pay so you add 59 cents to your 1904 and you'll get a little temporary check that's a money order that you can sign and put in instead of cash um, so that's everything you need to know. Just remember, oh, the most important thing for paper envelopes, do not combine multiple student orders in one paper envelope. So if you have two children, you do one paper envelope for one student and another second for the other student. Do not combine them. I guarantee you that'll mess up your order and that it'll delay it or you may just miss out and may even lose some money over the whole situation. So try to keep them separate. That's why we have extras in front of the office. Call us or come to the office if you have any questions, especially you can ask for Mr. Castro.